Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Double A Nine Skills, and we are back with the Ajax career mode, and we are back on the day that Ajax will be playing in the Champions League in real life. So in the comments down below, I'm gonna need you to give me your predictions. Can Ajax pull it off and knock out Juventus? There would be a huge result if they could do it. Let me know your predictions in the comments down below, and if you're watching this, after the game is played let me know what you thought about the game in the comments down below with that being said our group is looking pretty nice we came out we played against athens and we uh we did all right we won two nil we didn't get scored on we scored two it was beautiful uh and also Bayern played uh befica and uh they also two nil so both games in the group ended exactly the same way now the way this group works is we got Bayern. We already played Athens, we got Bayern, and then we got Befica, and then we got Befica again. We get Befica on the double, the back-to-back, -back when the group flips. So, with points against Bayern here today, and then points against Befica in uh, 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 the first leg, or even the second leg, uh, it could see us come out the group very, very quickly. So, even with the loss here today, it will just guarantee that we got to bust our butts against Befica and get results. But I got a feeling that there's no problem here. I got a feeling that we're going to go out there and knock out Bayern or, or, or put Bayern in a very, very bad place. Now, as a Benfica fan in real life, as a Benfica just absolute diehard support or supporter, love them more than anything, you guys know I want to cause damage right now against Bayern. And the reason I want to cause this guy wants to play is that center back. Um, that ain't good, man. Mm, I'm not getting my guaranteed star time. Mm, that's not good. Um, a Benfica fan, diehard Benfica fan. So you know what I do? I come out here and knock out Bayern. Steal points from them and hope Benfica gets the job done against Athens. And did I just see what I think I just saw? Was that Rodrigo with the Bayern shirt on? Because I could have swore I it is Rodrigo. Okay. Big boy Rodrigo leaves Valencia, heads over to Bayern, and uh, maybe causing causing some uh, some damage over there. With that being, I hate, I, I don't like this kit, bros. I don't like it one bit. Um, I'm just not a fan of it. I don't know why. Smash that thumbs up, man. If you're excited that the, the, the Ajax career mode got uploaded today, hit that big old thumbs up. I'm telling you, man, I'm going to get it right, bros. Right now, I'm just slammed with content or with with, uh, with work, man. And I promise you, man, I'll get it right, man. I'm working on getting the editor right now to make sure that I can get you guys this content every single day. Who was the center back that was hella mad at me? This guy right here was hella pissed. But I love the way Alvarez has been playing. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is play Alvarez. And I'm going to go ahead and bench my man Vaughn. And I'm going to put De Jong at the cam position, which last time I played De Jong there, he didn't really play that good. But either way, we're going to have Keane up top, De Jong, we're going to have David and Ziyech. We're going to have Alvarez and uh, 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 Ruben Neves in that midfield. We got the Argentinian starting now, so hopefully he's not too mad at me. Dilit doing his thing. And uh, Talia Fico, I think I said that right. Tagi La Fico. Um, playing that left back role. So I feel pretty good with where we're at, man. Is there anybody else I want to bring along? And surely I want to bring De uh, Daily Blend. Isn't that his name? Like Daily Blend or something like that. I want to bring him and I actually want to start him. Blend Alvarez is going to be my CDMs for this one. So a completely different little thing going on here. Hi, you know what, actually? It's Bayern, boys. Let's not play around with it too much, man. Let's not mess about. It's Bayern. It's a good team. We don't want to play around, man. And also, it's in Germany. All right? So it's not just against Bayern. But it's Bayern in Germany. It's a hard place to get points. Result here today, obviously, like I said, could be huge. You know what I'm saying? Because what I don't want to do is lose to Bayern here today and then have to 100% knock out the team I support since I was a child. I don't want to knock out Befica. I know it's only a career mode. Was that Rashford? Did I just see Rashford? Did I see Rashford? Am I seeing things? I might, I might be seeing things. I, I thought I thought I saw a Rashford there, but nah, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm seeing things. I mean, I might confirm, but for a second there, I don't know. I glanced, and maybe it's like you know, I had eye surgery, so maybe maybe my eyes are seeing things. <laughs> my eyes ain't seeing things. My eye, what the heck did I just see, bro? Oof! Right off the bat. That hits the back of the net. Wait, oh, that's Gnabry on the left, right? That's not, yeah, it's definitely, what I think it was Gnabry I saw. For some reason, like I said, man, I glanced at it real quick. It looked like Rashford, but it definitely wasn't. It might have been Gnabry. Good pass in, and that's just not the start you want to have, man. Ziek with it. Ruben put down to my man Alvarez. Alvarez still with it as he swings into Keane. I shouldn't have laid it off, man. I should have kept going. De Jong in the box, and he fires one. But the German number one, big boy Neuer, Finds a way to keep that one out. Ball into the middle, and Boateng that one, uh, clears that one as well. ZX with it. Put all the way down. Nice, David. 
keeps it alive. Almost lost it. Um, trying to find a way, man. De Jong's in that box, and De Jong shoots, and just unlucky. Just absolutely unlucky to still be behind. Absolutely. There's there's nothing else that can be said. There's nothing. That's that's so unlucky, boys. That is so... Keem, come on, man. That is so unlucky, man, to put together a play like that and to be behind still De Jong. I mean, he's our guy, too, man. That's That's... That's our guy. We needed that. Gives off to Keen, the Italian. He can't hold on to it. Very unfortunate there. And here comes Byron once again with Lewandowski. Put into the middle. An opportunity to take the shot. They do the rebound. Gnabry, but I believe he's offside. I believe he's offside. And he is. An offside call keeps us, keeps us in the game. And it's crazy, man, because we've had chances, didn't score. And now all of a sudden, they could have been up by two. But luckily, we got that ball cleared. Here comes... Neves putting that ball into De Jong. De Jong still with it. Cuts back. Try to pass it in. De Jong still fighting for it. Boateng's going to clear it. Go. Getting up that field quickly. Try to whip that one into De Jong. Ziyech with it. Sent all the way outside. Getting forward. Ball whipped into the middle. Almost found De Jong. Unlucky probably not to find De Jong's head there. Another great opportunity that goes by. And we're still losing. And Nabry's with it. And Mula puts it all the way up top. The Lato, Lato sends that, and they're going to blow the whist. That's BS, man. You played the advantage. Big chance here for Nabry. Cuts back. Nabry looking for something. Pops it in towards Lewandowski. And I'm not sure who the center back was, but I don't know how you don't track back there. I don't know if it was DeLitt. I don't know if it was it was DeLitt. It was 100%. Look at that. Ah, he just didn't track back, man. He didn't track back, and we're down 2-0. Lewandowski with a great finish. I feel a little bit hard done. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel a little bit hurt by this result because I feel like we have been pretty good. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter about Priant being pretty good, does it? You got to get the result, man. That's all that matters. Ziek is on it. Lato chasing me down. Heel to heel, staying with it. Still with it. Still with it. And Ziek loses. Byron in the box. Lewandowski. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, man. I don't get it. I don't get what I did wrong here. Could have been a formation mistake, maybe. Could have been, could have been many things. I'm not sure, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe I made a mistake starting that center back. You know, he asked for playing time. I gave him playing time. And well, we really haven't really suffered goals like this ever. So kind of feels bad. Maybe that was the mistake. I'm not sure. I feel awful. I just, I just don't feel good, man. I just don't feel good. Cause I don't, I don't feel like we deserve to get smacked like this. Maybe we don't deserve a win. Maybe we don't deserve any points that we you know, We don't deserve nothing. De Jong had a huge chance, man. De Jong had a huge chance in the first half. We didn't get it. And it's back to the drawing boards. And now I'm kind of sitting here thinking to myself, like, as much as I love Benfica, do we hope and pray that they actually lost the game? Now, I know this AZ game is a big game, but... I really want to get back in the Champions League. I need this taste that's in my mouth to get out my mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate this with Dolberg and David and Vaughn and Ziyech and De Jong and Ruben Neves in the lineup. Alvarez back in the back, back at center back. And as you can see, he scores and their goalkeeper gets injured. Alvarez, Ruben Neves and Dolberg all hit the back of the net to give us that 3-1 lead against AZ in our stadium. How about a 4-1 four, four, lead as Tadic comes off the bench? So the only way to rebound after losing to the German Giants is to come out with a huge result. And how about a 5-1 with Dolberg hitting twice, Ruben Neves hitting once, Alvarez and the boy Tadic all scoring. And AZ did pick up one, but they also lost their goalkeeper in this game. So that's the interesting one. I've never seen a keeper get injured. But that just took place. Now we got Champions League football hopefully up next. And what's crazy, this thing is... I don't know if you guys see the team in second place, but they are literally battling it with us stride for stride, just beasting and feasting. Kudo, I don't I don't play I don't play Kubo enough, bros. I don't play Kubo enough. I keep forgetting about the beast himself. Let me go ahead and change the lineup a little bit so I can get players that I want to play in and a little bit more involved. My man Kubo plays the cam position. Um and also I want to get Daily Daily Blend in a little bit a little bit more playing time as well. And I got a great center back right there that I don't play enough. I might just play him instead, boys. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm at that point where I want to get him into this lineup. Let me know if in the comments down below who you think the center back should be. But Alvarez has been pretty good. Um, the Argentinian, I don't think he's going to get that much more playing time. I'll be honest. PSV just grinding right there with us, bro. They will not 
let us breathe. They are on us like white on rice. We win, they win, we win, they win. It's just over and over the same process. And it's just crazy right now to see, bro. It's like absolutely insane to see how good of uh, they're playing as well. They've literally only lost one point. So we got this game, and then we got the Befica game. I'm going to go ahead and simulate this one. Another big game as well. Very good team here, man. Um, a team that I, I think we could drop points here. Could end up seeing PSV and, L and Lozano take first place away from us. Unless we can come up with a great performance here today. Dolberg and David and Vaughn and Ziek again up top. Our four guys trying to create some magic. And Dolberg hits again. So he's off a pen as well. He's coming off of a double in the last game. And now he gets the back of the net in the 43rd minute. And Tadic off the bench to find the back of the net as well. So Tadic has been on great form, which lets me know going into this Benfica game that Dolberg must start and Tadic must start. They must start, bro. There's there's nothing else around it, man. Benfica picked up three points, which means this game, this game's a big one. Now we are home first against Benfica. And uh, as much as I love my team, man, I got to get a result here today. There's There's kind of really nothing else to say about it man i got to get a result here today because if i lose they take for ah, it's a we need a result there's no other way around it we just need a result so my boy von yeah um <clears throat> i'm gonna bench him for Tadic. and then i really want to play kubo man i really want to play this youngster i really want to give him a go I'm going to bench it. Ah, that's tough. That don't feel good. Do I bench Tadic, man? Yo, do I bench Tadic, man? Ah, it's, so it's tough. This is tough, man. This is real tough. Let me get this center back. Get in there. Um, I think I'm going to start it like this. Tadic just has to go, man. Maybe I should have been, you know what? Kubo off the bench. No, no, no. Kubo starts. I feel good with Kubo. I feel good. Hey, Fika, Ajax. Huge second place on the line. A win here today. We go to six, and then we beat Bifiga again, and uh, that could be us guaranteed into the next round. I mean, that's really how important this game is. A back-to-back -back win against Bifiga sees us on nine points with only a Bayern and an Athens game remaining. So if Bifiga even gets points against Athens, and we let's say we lost both of our last games and they won theirs, so we would both be on nine. It would come down to pretty much goal difference, or does it come down to the game? Because it comes down to the game, we beat them twice. But maybe it comes down to goal difference, and if that's the case, if it does come down to goal difference, then, I mean, I'm pretty sure our goal difference probably is going to be whoever gets smacked more by Bayern, right? I don't know. We'll have to keep paying attention to that. Here's Tadic. Nice passing. The shot, and bang. Instantly, we hit the back of the net with Ruben Neves. And of course, it would be this guy. Isn't this guy from Porto as well? I'm pretty sure this guy started at Porto. We hit the back of the net off the jump. And Befica had um, a number nine that I have no idea who that is. There's Jardel. There's Faiza. Um, it's obviously Mal. I think that's Rafa right there. Who was that number nine in the attack? Who's that guy? I have no idea who that is. There's Jonas right there. Yeah, that's Jonas. Gabriel. Who's the number nine? Faiza. Rafael. Who's Rafael? They bought Rafael. Okay. Is it the Rafael that was in Germany? Jonas. Good defense there. And here we come again, man. We're deadly. I'm telling you, man. We're deadly. Swinging that one into my man Kubo. Can't get to it, though. Unlucky. Good defense by the Befica. Left back. Played all the way to De Jong. Dropped into Ruben Neves. I did not mean to pass that there. Rafa knocks up the field. And Jonas can't get there because of the lit. But Rafa sent to Gabriel. Rafael. Sent all the way up to my man Salvio. Salvio still with it. Sent back towards. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, that's a good ball. Salvio on the run. Whipped in towards Rafa. Rafa is extremely quick. I can't believe he even made it to that ball. But Befica has shown that they can get forward as well, man. We got to be careful. That's a good ball to Ziek. Ziek bringing that thing forward. Faiz is chasing me down. Faiz does not have the speed to keep up with this guy. I promise you that. Pass into the middle. Dolberg. Put the pass in right away, bro. I had it there, man. We had that. Tadic with it. Set all the way up. Back in towards Tadic. It's a bad pass. Unlucky. Ruben. Tadic. Back to De Jong. Back into Ruben. The passing's nice here. Dolberg's in there like swimwear. And we're up 2-0. 
doesn't feel good, man. Ah, oh, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Yek turning on the Jets. Come on now. Good pass right there. Yek still with it. He's catching up, so I let it fly. And it's 3-0, dude. Wow. Wow. Um, so Befica's goalkeeper does nothing. You pretty much can shoot from anywhere. And it doesn't seem like that keeper can save anything. A beautiful through pass. And this is hard to watch for me, man, from distance as well. What a goal from Ziyech. Well placed. Perfectly in that corner. I don't know if many keepers could have saved that. That's his second goal in the Champions League. And that big defeat we took to Bayern, well, we just redeemed ourselves massively because we no longer got that negative three on our mark or on our record anymore. Now it's just a zero. Let me send it over to Ziyech. Cut back on him. Passed up. Gabrielle can't get to us. The one-two is nice. The one-two is sexy. Goldberg is through. I shoot, and the Befica keeper cannot make a save. The Befica is, 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 is I'm not going to lie. I love Befica with all my heart, but this feels like amateur, bro. This feels like it's on amateur, bro. It feels like there is nothing Befica can do to contain us. Jardel is not quick enough. The Befica players in this game are just not quick enough. You could pretty much run circles. Dolberg finds his second goal in this competition. And I can run by Faija. I can run by Jardel. I can run by most of their players. The heck is slow, man. You could just pretty much one, two, and you're in there. And then the keeper, I mean, he hasn't even touched the ball yet. Every time I shoot, it's in the back of the net. So now that whole negative three is a plus one because Bayern put three against us, but we put four against Befica. So no longer a negative one there, huh? Kubo turning on the Jets. And we are in once again. Can we get another one? We do. 5-0. Well, they did score. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. For the last 45 minutes of the game, I held the ball. I didn't want to put no more past Mayfiga. This was hard for me, man. This was... uh. It's tough beating the team you love. It's tough to smack them as well. I could, probably could have 10 0 them. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, we walk out of here with a plus four, which is really good for the group, the group standings. Um, Athens beat Bayern 2 to 1. That just changed everything. Athens just beat Bayern 2 to 1. That changes absolutely everything that we even thought was something. You know what I mean? Because now. Now we're favorites. Now we're favorites. With the, how comfortably I just beat Befica, I see us beating Befica again and putting us on nine. I see Bayern beating Athens, which is fine. No problem. But then, after we play Befica there, we get Athens next. Which Athens seems to be, I'm not going to say the team that everybody's walking over because Bayern just got smacked by them. But if we beat Befica, we beat Athens, boom, we're in. Then we go down to, we go to Bayern in the last game, and it really comes down to who wants first place more. So I see us coming out of this group easily. I see us easily. This this Bayern result changed everything because now I'm not feeling like we're coming out in second. Now I feel like we're taking first. Yes, they smacked us 3-0, but mark my words, I will 3-0 them in the second leg. Guys, this was a hard episode for me. I'm not going to lie to you. Doing that big figure game was not good. I, I almost want to simulate the second one. Up next, we got Fire Nord, who's going to be an absolute unbelievable game to watch. Um... But I want to get it. I want to get involved with this. Did, I, did my scouts come back yet? I want to get involved with the youth, man. I want to get this going, bro. Um, reports are available. Come on now. Hey, Kubo. It's pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Um, he didn't play well. What do we got going on here, man? We got, uh, we got, we don't really got much going on. This guy has potential of up to 60 to 80. Um, this guy has, uh, up to 67. I want nothing to do with this guy. Get rid of him. Um, this guy. Up to 86. This guy up to 91. Oof. Hmm. You do not have the avail the wages available. What you mean? What you mean I ain't got the wages available? I ain't got no money? When did we run out of money? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. When did I run out of money? I need to sign Thomas. I need to sign that Thomas guy. I need to sign him now. When did I... Wait, what? What you mean? Oh, wages. Boy, if you don't stop, you best believe I got them wages. 
So I was about to say, when did we run out of money? Yo, you see that Thomas guy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Thomas. Yes, sir. Sign him up, man. Sign him up, man. Um, 77, 86. Let's go see what else our other scouts found, man. See what else we got going on here. So that was a playmaker. We just brought in Thomas, who's a playmaker. Now this is technically technically gifted. Oof, Italian up to 90. Up to 90. Hold on, baby. Two Italian stallions. Two gifted Italian stallions. Yo, give me my man right here. Sign him up and sign him up. We're bringing them both in. We're bringing Marco in. Boom, we're bringing three players into our youth team, into the youngsters, man. Let's check out the academy real quick. What do we got going on here? My boy came as a, what he come as? A 56 overall, a 61 overall, and a 54 overall. So Marco, not so much, but this kid right here, Alessandrino, Alessandrino. What is going on, baby? Promote to the senior team. Alessandrino, I'm about to start. Oof. Where you at, baby? Come here. 61 overall. What's your sprint? 62 sprint. What? The what? Four star weak foot, three star skiller, 16 years old. Italian could play cam as well. Medium low. Okay. Bring him up here, yo. Bring him up here. My guy, my did we just sign the next Italian stallion? Did we just sign the next Italian best player in the world? Could be, bros. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash a big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Fire Nord in the X next one. Big figure game as well. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Like I said, big thumbs up. I love your faces and enjoy. I hope you guys are enjoying the Champions League games. Let me know all the predictions you got for these upcoming games. I love your faces. Thanks for watching. Booyah.